Good morning. Today is December 6th and it is an even day. I am Hayden. And I'm Ishan. And here are the announcements for today. Do you need help with civics? Are you a civics expert? Both groups, please come join us for our Civics Peer Tutoring Club, second session Mondays in room 620. Everyone interested in auditioning for the spring show, please go to Schoology to sign up today. You will need to perform a song from the show, which has been posted as well as a memorized monologue. See Miss Stacy if you have any questions. Auditions begin December 15th. So Hayden, have you ever heard of Bigfoot? Yeah, isn't he the dude with like size 25 feet? Yeah, that's about right. Check out this video we made about Bigfoot and other urban legends. Unsolved legend of Bigfoot and one of the most famous urban legends to be. The first known setting of Bigfoot started in 1958 by a journalist, Andrew Gentle. He said, Maybe we have a relative of a snowman in the Himalayas. Bigfoot was popularized in 1958 when news media picked up a story about Ray Wallace, a road worker in Northern California who made plaster casts of giant footprints that he found near his worksite. Hundreds of similar footprints and few handprints have now been reported. The footprint that the creature left has a fit almost three times as big as the human adult's foot. Bigfoot has been described by over a thousand people who report sightings, and they all have a common element. Most people say it's around seven to nine feet tall, with with a beast of black and brown fur. The people also report that it walks on a hunchback in a lumbering manner. Some Sasquatch hunters report that it knocks on trees and roars out. You have probably seen this photo. It's been around for over 50 years and is still unsolved. The filmmakers and namesakes of the film are two former rodeo men from Yakima County in Washington. One, Bob Gimlin, still lives there. Roger Patterson died in 1972. They shot the footage off the banks of Bluff Creek in Northern California. In 1934, in a particularly stormy night, two fishermen, Francis Clarman and Edward Ward, were out on the Chesapeake Bay when they saw the most terrifying, blood-curling monster to ever roam the earth. The monster they saw was the one, the only, Chesapeake. Hayden and Ishan have an awesome day today, LJ. And remember, we, we roar, roar as one. one.